good evening my loves and welcome to this week's video i hope you're all doing really well please excuse the way i look i feel like i'm a bit disheveled right now because i've had a full day non-stop shooting back to back the reason we're starting this video in the evening is because i want to put up my christmas tree and i couldn't do it without the help of b and b is getting home in about 10 minutes i think so before she's home i wanted to do a super quick haul i popped into zara this morning to pick up some extra christmas tree decorations because i seem to remember last year i wanted to buy some more and zara home had some gorgeous ones so obviously i have to show you guys as well now i actually think i did very well because i wanted to buy the whole store but i thought what we'd do is put up the tree today and decorate it and then kind of see what gaps there are and where else we want to decorate in the apartment. And we're not even halfway through November yet, so I know that's quite early for a lot of people, but for me, I just think Christmas only comes around once a year and it goes so quickly, so why not milk it and make it as long as possible? Okay, so the first ball ball I picked up was this lovely glass sparkly one. So pretty. My decorations from last year are mostly kind of champagne-y gold and white. So I wanted to keep with that theme. I also have a lot of like round baubles, so I thought I would get some different shaped ones. I love these ones. So pretty, how much were these ones? They are 5 99 each. Okay, and then I got two sets of these little mini ones, which are very cute, and I just thought these would be good to fill up any gaps we have in the tree. We also got a couple of these beautiful look at the way they're shining oh wow they're getting glitter everywhere but these kind of like ribbed effect with um kind of like an aged glass and glitter really really pretty and i think they'll match perfectly with what we have already and then finally i got a candle as well because you have to get a christmas candle every year i have quite a few from the white company actually already but I wanted to get this one because look how pretty the packaging is. I loved the deep emerald green and then you've got the gold lid. And it smells, oh my God, that smells insane. Oh wow. Cause it's like Christmassy, but not being stereotypical pumpkin spice gingerbread Christmassy. Not that there's anything wrong with that because I'm a huge fan. But that's like almost oody. Oh wow. That smells oody rich, like some kind of expensive hotel lobby. We have a little Christmas helper here, Pippin. Thank you. Can you say hello. No, my little baby. Oh my god, I bet they're gonna be so excited about the Christmas tree. They love sitting under it. Don't you? You love sitting under the Christmas tree like a little present. Let's see where B is. B and I constantly have trackers on each other so we can always see where we are. B is, B is just getting off the tube. So she should be here very shortly. Okay, I'm gonna set up the Christmas tree quickly so she doesn't have to do that boring bit. Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm everything. I bought loads of Christmas baubles today from Zara. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It smells like Christmas. Does it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, look at this. Look at how pretty. I was just about to get the Christmas tree up. But, um, oh, oh, is investigating for the new in. and I have just started the Christmas decorating and who remembers these little Fortnum and Mason Christmas decorations from last year they are just so cute I got these as like a little gift to myself no that's not true my nan gave me some money to buy a gift for myself and I bought these as a little way to remember our first Christmas in this flat Ooh. 
Oh, she's really cute. gone for a real like champagne gold theme this year B was saying that we should add like some extra little more like interesting ones like different shapes we have a bunny rabbit and he looks really cute so I think we want to add some similar ones to that I am so tired now it's been a pretty long day so I need to get into bed also peep the little stocking on the fireplace I was gonna add a garland but I actually think that might be too much over here but what do you guys think good morning oh okay Good morning, little moons. Hi. Yes. Is your brother very sleepy today? Is he had a rough time? Oh, there you go, Opal. You look like a little turtle. Good morning, my loves. Actually, it's probably the afternoon. Yes, it is. Um, I've just spent the morning planning and prepping for Black Friday because it's definitely the busiest time of the year work-wise and I want to get ahead. I don't know about you guys, but I always find it quite overwhelming, the amount of kind of like noise there is this time of year in terms of like the sales and what you should be buying, what you shouldn't. So I'm definitely going to try to keep it as simple as I can when it comes to um, sharing things with you guys and obviously sharing things I already wear and love and know about rather than like buying anything new because there's this pressure to. Um, but speaking of Black Friday, Astrid and Miu, one of my favourite ever jewellery brands, shared a exclusive early access discount code for you guys um, this morning which is Super, super exciting. So this is what they said. Um, we have set up a discount code for early access, which is Kate25. This will be live from the 19th until 7 a.m. on the 20th, only for you guys. And then after 7 a.m. on the 20th, it is their usual cyber week. I'm trying to like avoid this sunbeam. Astrid and Miu actually have the most beautiful new range. It's called Gleam. I'm wearing some of the pieces already. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up for myself and also what I picked up for other people. Yeah, for other people for Christmas gifts. As for me, you obviously don't do many discounts throughout the year, so it's really good time to stock up on any items for yourself or also your Christmas gifts and get organised nice and early. I feel like this collection is timeless, but especially good for party season. Let me just show you these earrings really quickly. I won't be wearing them today because as you will see, they are very glamorous and perfect for occasion wear. What I love about them is they're so eye-catching but still elegant and dainty. Look how gorgeous they are, they're so nice. I love the kind of like irregular stones there are going on. Kind of makes a very classic design a little bit more modern. And then to match with these, I have a stunning tennis necklace. I actually have one already from Astro Miu that is a little bit more dainty and fine. And this one is slightly thicker. And then I've just laid it with this gorgeous little K. I love anything personalized. It always feels so special to receive a personalized gift, but also I think to give one as well is always such a nice gesture. There's also a matching tennis bracelet. And then I also picked up this beautiful green emerald, very fine, dainty bracelet too i think stacked together they look gorgeous and i thought that bracelet would be so cute because they have a matching necklace which i just know my mum would love so i thought she could have this i could have the bracelet and it'd be nice to match we actually already have matching welded bracelets from astrid so yeah i thought she'd really like this one you guys might recognize this next necklace because i wear a very similar one almost every single day this one is a much more affordable version and equally as stunning so i thought this would make a really gorgeous gift maybe a nice stocking filler it's one of those jewelry pieces that I think most people would really love and appreciate. It's such a classic piece. And then the final thing I want to 
you guys are the earrings I'm gonna wear today. I'm not gonna wear these earrings because I'm actually going to Pilates after this. I want something a little bit less glam. So these next earrings are great because they are a very classic hoop. However, on one side, I have this beautiful parve. And then on the other side, it's a plain gold hoop with parve on the inside. So both sides of these earrings look really nice and you can wear it either way. Um, as I am doing something a little bit more casual, I'm gonna wear the gold side. I wore the parve side out for dinner. When was it? A couple of days ago. We went for dinner in the new um, Raffles Hotel in London. Oh my goodness, guys. If you're in London, definitely worth a stop at their, their restaurant. It's called uh, La Perouse. Such a Parisian, cozy, romantic restaurant. And I actually wore these with this and this. Anyway, I diverge. Let's get back to the earring. You can just see how the parve pops out for a really subtle design detail. I absolutely love that. As a reminder, the code is Kate25. Obviously, feel free to send the code to your boyfriends, your girlfriends, or any family friends that you want to hint. And now I need to get ready for Pilates, so let's go. Does anyone know if there's a camera setting to stop these weird lines going down the screen? Um, I'd love to know. Anyway, the Pilates session is actually a lot earlier than I thought it was. I've got my timings a bit wrong. So I'm gonna quickly get ready. I'm just putting loads of Moroccan oil into the ends of my hair. Because I'm just gonna do a little bun. I'm ready. Okay, so I thought I would do a little voiceover here to explain what I'm doing. I'm just in an Uber here on the way to the Four Seasons Hotel in Mayfair, which is where the event is being held. I was actually half an hour early, so I ended up sitting in the lounge and had some sushi and a green juice, and it was just so relaxing. It was giving me all the vibes. I then headed up to the Pilates event. It's to celebrate Cloudshare, a new matcha brand that has just launched. We did Pilates with Bryony, and she is amazing. I've done a few of her classes now, and I just love her workout. It was such a nice workout now guys i have to be honest i was on my pilates game at the beginning of the year the first half i was so good at it and then i completely fell off my routine and my schedule and it went out the window so this is my first pilates class in um far too long she also does have an app so if any of you are interested you can um join her membership program and then we finished off the class with matcha it was absolutely delicious i'm definitely becoming more of a matcha girly now because i do find that coffee does trigger my anxiety depending on how i'm feeling that day I've just had the nicest cup of tea and matcha cookie on the sofa whilst watching my new favorite TV show, which is Abby Clancy Celebrity Homes. I've watched every single episode, but this house has got to be my favorite. This is the house of Alice Templey. Basically, if you haven't watched the TV show or you haven't heard of it, it's Abby Clancy, the stunning, gorgeous model going through celebrities homes and i love interiors i love kind of seeing how people live so it's like my dream show and um she's been in like such a variety of houses but this one is incredible let me show you like it's this really old kind of like country manor but she's got alpacas and donkeys and her house is just like really magical so yeah it's definitely worth a watch it's on itv speaking of interiors i've just had a parcel and i opened it and i actually gasped i was so excited let me show you because this is a brand that i spend a lot of money on myself i just think they are elite when it comes to home scents i'm actually just balancing you guys on some matches from them but diptyque sent me a pr parcel and i am flabbergasted it even has my initials on at the front there i knew she would start fighting this can you can you not please i haven't even opened it properly myself look you can chew on that you can smell it before we even open it but they sent me a few scents should we open the be rude not to open the card first really wouldn't it oh 
the festive season sets flames dancing at diptyque and with them coming surprise and wonder to give your loved ones all the excitement of a fragrance moment diptyque offers a multitude of gifts embodying the soul of the maze and to celebrate the years in atmosphere of joy and togetherness <gasps> wow currently on my coffee table i have these um matches from diptyque these are from their store in notting hill i have this diffuser which is a really interesting um diffuser it's kind of like an hourglass and this currently has bays which is like a very berry beautiful smell one of my favorites from diptyque and then finally on the coffee table i have this which is tuberose probably my number one favorite and bays is my second favorite but maybe i will have a new favorite in these so they sent these three here which i think are limited edition so there is sapan which is oh my god that's like being in a forest that's so christmasy that is literally like smelling a pine tree wow there is delice which smells like a christmasy pudding and then finally there is cotton which i'm assuming is cotton yeah that smells very fresh and crisp wow what a treat i feel very very lucky good morning guys it is a saturday and i'm just doing my makeup and I thought this would be the perfect time to catch up because we have a lot to catch up on and I promised you guys I would give an update on the whole Uber situation incident. I have prepped my skin with this vitamin C which I have been loving. If you are also into a very kind of glowy natural base, this is perfect. It honestly gives you the best glow. And then instead of moisturiser, I'm just going to use one of my Elizabeth Arden Hyaluronic capsules i find this makes a really nice base and it is super hydrating so i kind of feel like i can use this instead of a moisturizer sometimes okay and then for foundation using my trusty tula skincare face filter blurring and moisturizing primer uh, this is in the shade sunrise so if you're not up to speed with what happened last week or maybe it was the week before i got into a road incident and I speak about it in my last video, so I will link that on the screen so you guys can watch that. And the last thing I told you guys is that we exchanged details and I was kind of waiting to hear from him. Now this guy was very aggressive. Like I said, he tried to get into the car. He was so angry and B and I had no recollection of the cars actually colliding. And I thought, you know what, it could have just been in the moment. Maybe I didn't see it happen. Maybe I didn't feel it happen. It was all like, it kind of went in slow motion but it also went quite quickly anyway so he messages me the next day such a bizarre message he was like hello dear i really hope you're okay um something like very normal and nice which was just the complete opposite to how he was behaving the day before and i was thinking this is very strange so i messaged him back something along the lines of yes i'm absolutely fine can you please let me know if there is any damage done to your car can you please provide the dash cam footage obviously even though this guy was horrible if i had actually made any damages to his car which were my fault then i have to take responsibility for that and either go through insurance or pay for it outright where he replied with a picture of his car which was um damaged and i was like hmm, this is really strange i said could you please provide the dash cam footage because like i said i really don't have any recollection of actually hitting your car you know this this could be from anything he's an uber driver accidents happen all the time in london well, quickly i'm just going to use my dior concealer in the shade 5n just to slightly bronze and contour my face then this guy sends me a huge paragraph saying you know thank goodness i pressed the brakes in time there could have been a serious incident da, 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 da. if you don't want to cooperate i will contact the insurance and they can sort it so i just replied saying yep absolutely no worries go through the insurance see you later kind of thing anyway i never heard from him again so i think it just shows he was trying to pull a fast one on me and i didn't damage his car he had damages on his car that he wanted to be fixed and i was an easy person to blame so that is the end of that story now only a week and a half later i got into another road incident which is just so bizarre because like i said i've never been in any kind of road incidents before this one was quite different though so what happened is I was going to an event at Harvey Nichols and I was parking just behind the um, shop and it was a quite a wet rainy evening and it was very dark so I was driving really carefully because by the way guys I'm slightly traumatized now I'm so scared of driving my car in London so I'm like driving like a complete granny um I found a space indicate left to 
revise into it and I was looking in my mirrors I could see someone far in the distance and I thought you know what I'm gonna play it safe wait to park until they have gone past me so I was just kind of waiting for them to go past all of a sudden I feel a huge crash go into the back of my car and I was like what has just happened look in my mirror and it's the guy who was coming towards me he was on one of those like three wheeled motorbikes um and he had just completely crashed into the back of my car so i get out and i was like oh my goodness are you okay and um he, he must have been quite young i think he must have been like 20 or something and he was like yeah yeah i'm fine i feel like and he was, he was also a learner he was on a learner scooter so i feel like he hadn't had much road experience at all and i was like look um as long as you're okay, can I just please take your details and we'll get the insurance to sort it out. And I also said like, you know, what happened? Like, how come you crashed into the back of me? And I think he just maybe wasn't paying attention or the road was slippy, he might have slipped slightly. I'm not really sure what happened, but luckily he also had dash cam footage. So that's all now with their insurance. Their insurance, their insurance is sorting it out for me whilst my car is repaired. I will get a courtesy car because the damage to my car was pretty bad. I've got a very large dent in the bumper and an actual like a hole as well. I'm not sure how that's even possible, but yeah, I've got a big hole in my bumper. I always like look at these things and think like, what are they teaching me? What am I learning from it? And I'm actually glad that that thing happened last week because I didn't know how to deal with these kind of situations. No one really tells you what to do. And now I feel fully prepared. So when it happened to me the second time, I knew what to do. I was so calm because I knew as well, this poor guy who crashed into me obviously didn't do it on purpose. This guy was probably traumatized himself. So why would I give him a hard time? I mean, I wouldn't do that anyway. I don't think it's like in my character. Um, I just knew what to do. I just stayed calm, asked for his details. And that was it, you know, let the insurance deal with it. Yeah, I did really start overthinking everything. I was like, maybe I'm not supposed to drive in London. Maybe this is a sign that I shouldn't be driving and I should sell my car. I don't know, I don't know. But I feel like lots of weird things have been happening recently. Is Mercury like in retrograde or something? My eyebrows look very dark on camera, but they're not like this in real life. But I always use the same powder that I use on my brows, just as a liner as well anyway the plan for the day is i've got quite a bit of work to catch up on um ready for black friday week it's always a super busy week work wise this evening i'm going to one of my favorite restaurants in london which is dinings i've been to the marlebone restaurant quite a few times but never the one in south ken is it south ken no it's more like knightsbridge um so yeah gonna head there for dinner and then afterwards I'm dragging my boyfriend along to see all of the Christmas lights in Bond Street because I love them. I think it's a bit early. I don't think they're all up yet and they're probably still, you know, half done. But they just make me so happy and they're so pretty. So I'll probably go there and then do some drinks or something afterwards, which will be really nice. Blush I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Beauty Light Wand. Okay, and I am ready. Do you know what I've learned about my hair is if I don't get it cut every eight weeks it just becomes so floppy and difficult to style like i've already styled my hair this morning and it's just not holding at all so i'm definitely going to book in for an appointment next week at glow another thing i learned yesterday let me see if he'll do it hang on when opal eats banana he gets so excited that he starts twitching his bum now let me see if he'll do it on camera well first of all how cute is that are you twitching your bum? Yes, he is. Can you see that? Little bum twitches. Look at them. Oh my God, that is the cutest thing ever. Oh, he melts my heart. He's the best boy in the world. No, don't look my face.